Hello, investors, and good morning from Memphis, Tennessee, at turnkeyinvest.com. I'm excited to bring you a new opportunity today, and I'm going to have an offering that I've never put out there before. <clears throat> so this is kind of a cool one to uh, video to shoot. So from the website, turnkeyinvest.com, of course, you go there, you sign in, create a username and password. Today, we're going to be talking about a little house at 4091 Mossville Street. So this is south of downtown, so where St. Jude has their $9 billion investment in downtown Memphis, only 15 minutes from downtown Memphis, 15 minutes from the airport, which is home to FedEx Super Cargo Hub, a huge employer here in town. Both of those employers are two of many in Memphis that have been deemed a necessity in this COVID-19 time. Um, a lot of Memphians are still working because shipping is an essential. Well, Memphis is a logistics town, so tons and tons of people that work for us in warehouses, with FedEx, medical, of course, is a huge employer here in town. Uh, so just south of downtown, just west of the airport in Whitehaven, a lot of you guys know Whitehaven because that's where Elvis lived in the 70s. So this cute little house, we'll dig into the pictures and the renovation here shortly. It is a four bedroom. Most houses in this neighborhood are three bedroom, one bath. This is a four bedroom, one and a half bath. So it makes it a hot commodity. It's a $800 a month rent and $78,000 purchase price. So we're surpassing that 1% rule. This adds up to a 13.65% cash on cash return. Now this is where it's gonna get interesting. So on this property, here's my promotion for this one is I'm gonna pay your rent for the first year up front. So you close, I pay the $800 a, um, a year into your bank account day one. You have guaranteed rent first year on this property. No questions asked, because I'm gonna pay it um, up front. As I collect rent, I'll pay myself back. So you're just gonna get the rent up front on this property. Um, that should be a hot commodity for you guys. I'll go back to share and screen. Now, if you're new to the website, watching this video for the first time maybe, from my website, you, of course, you have a picture of the exterior, but if you click the button that says, click here for more information, that's gonna open up what we call the diligence vault. The diligence vault was created to give you all the information you could possibly want to analyze a property. So tons of photos, before, during, and after photos of all my properties. Check this one out, a 30-year architectural single roof. We've painted the exterior white with gray accents. So gray shutters, gray front door, new exterior lighting, this is a cute little house. And you can never get in your mind that, oh, well, why'd you make it, you know, why'd you go so far to make it so good looking? It's just a rental. Hey, I go into a lot of my tenants' houses and what are they watching? HGTV. So this is their home. This is where they're gonna have Christmas and celebrate uh, marriages and births of new children. And this is where they're raising their family. So never look at it as just a rental property. I love making my houses cute and functional to where you have very, little upkeep moving forward. So the definition for me of a turnkey renovation, I'm gonna take care of all the big ticket items for at least the first 10 years. Brand new roof like this should last 25 to 30 years, especially since there's no trees overhanging the house. So there's not a tree near the home. Here you see the backyard, nice little backyard for the kids to play around in. And I love this time of year where the grass starts getting green, the leaves start coming to the trees, because this backyard will be, look like a baseball field in about two weeks. Uh, we put in a brand new privacy fence, brand new HVAC. This house got the works. So these are the luxury vinyl plank floors, LVP. You might hear in the industry jargon that you see in a lot of my houses. New doorknobs and hinges and light fixtures, blinds on all the windows, making this house move in ready for our clients. We painted the cabinets white, new countertops, just a cute little house. So you see you have this open kitchen, breakfast area, combination room, nice tile floors. We try to make these houses indestructible as much as possible. Built like little tanks, I like to say, from the exterior to the interior. Not a whole lot to be repairing on a house like this when it's had this kind of renovation. The gray walls and white accent that you're getting very accustomed to with all of my houses. As we come down the hallway, you'll see the new water heater that's been installed. The updated uh, bathroom with uh, new tile surround, tile floors, new vanity, carpet in the bedrooms. One person asked me last week, well, James, if you're going to these extents, why are you putting carpet in the bedrooms? Overwhelmingly, my tenants are liking having carpet in their bedrooms. Because once you put a queen size bed, two nightstands and a dresser in this room, it's pretty full. 
but it gives it a warmer feel. It doesn't have that echo like a hard surface floor throughout a house. And to replace carpet in this house, three bedrooms, excuse me, four bedrooms, you're looking at 400 bucks. So, you know, six years from now, if you have to spend $400 to replace the carpet, clean the carpet for $175 is what it costs me to clean carpet like this. But you attract the type of tenant that's going to take better care of your property. I think that's a great fit. So this is the larger master bedroom where you could put a king size bed, two nightstands and a dresser, and they have a half bath. So there's where the half bath is right there in the master. Third bedroom and fourth bedroom. The fourth bedroom is a little bit smaller, make a great office or nursery or a young person with a twin size bed, one nightstand and a dresser. All righty. So there's your pictures. Beautiful, beautiful little house. Let's look at the numbers. So it's selling for 78,000. It's running for $800 a month and I'm putting that money in your bank account day one. So your first year uh, rent is paid up front. The net operating income would be $800 a month minus all of your expenses. Your expenses are listed in the bottom right hand corner. It includes a vacancy and future repair estimate. So the way we get that is vacancies figured at 4% vacancy. Where do we get that? Well, our average tenant is staying nearly three years in the property. So um, over a 10 year period, every th three years, we have to get the house rent ready for another tenant. That's gonna take about 30 days. So that's 4% of a 10 year period vacant on this property. The repairs, we uh, factor in on a house like this, 8% of the collected rent for future repairs. Our sliding scale there is anything older than 1985, we use an 8%. Newer than 1985, we use 5% and newer, or brand new construction, 3% of collected rent for repairs. Newer, brand new homes are going to take less to maintain than the house built in the 50s and 60s and 70s. So that's your net operating income, operating income. Total cash needed. So what cash do you need to purchase this property? You need $20,000. And let's break that down. So it's 20% down payment and closing costs. So that's all the cash you need out of pocket when using one of our preferred lenders um, to purchase a house like this. So cash on cash return. What is cash on cash return? It's simply your net operating income divided by total cash needed out of hand to purchase the, pro the property. That gives us our cash on cash return. This is a number that a lot of my investors look at because the question is, okay, if I invest $20,000 with James in Memphis, Tennessee on this property on Mossville Street, what am, what am I looking at a return on that $20,000? Not the 78,000. Now my uh, cash buyers would look at a different metric and that'd be your pro forma cap rate. So if you paid cash for this property, $78,000, you would see a net annual return of 8.3%. Using leverage, we see a much higher return. So for you um, people that are working with my preferred lenders, this is the return you would see on the cash you invested to purchase this house, 13.65%. This is before looking at depreciation and tax advantage. So that is a made in debt pay down, you know, debt reduction by your tenant. Those are cherries on top. I always put a crime map in this uh, diligence vault. As you see, this area is not a high crime area. It has gotten better and better over the past 15 years as I've watched this area. More and more homeowners coming into Whitehaven. This neighborhood is a lot of rentals, absolutely a lot of workforce housing. I like to buy the worst house in this little neighborhood on Mossville Street and make it look the best looking, absolutely, because I love rent owning properties in that little neighborhood. Okay, so another folder I have in your diligence vault is comparable sales. So this is very basic real estate one-on-one. Let's take the comparable property and see three properties in the immediate vicinity. So here you are, subject property is you, the black S, the uh, S inside of a black circle. And these are the three most comparable homes in the area based on square footage, condition of the property, bedroom, bathroom count, age. Those are the things that an appraiser looks at. They want it in the same vicinity, same age range, same bad bedroom, bathroom count range, same square footage range, same quality. You can't take a house across the street with a 35 year old roof and window units and compare it to my property that we just spent $30,000 on the renovation. It's not a comparable. So this is uh, how we get our comparables. Then you'll look at what these houses sold for, for per square foot. You get an average of $64 a square foot and that's how we price this house before we ever bought it. 
before I ever said, you know what, I'll buy this house and as is conditioned, become responsible for all the repairs to bring it up to 2020 standards. I do this metric beforehand, before I, every deal that I analyze, this is where I start. I wanna know what this house is worth after I renovate it. I call it the ARV, after repair value. So that's in your folder. So you see that um, the house is priced properly and we have rento meter to show us that the rent is achievable. So 790, we're asking 800. I know we're gonna get it with that cute of a renovation. It gives you the comparables that shows other properties in the area renting for what prices. So as high as 895, 865, 825. There's one at 795. Notice these are all three bedroom homes. The one at the top has two bath, but everything else in this comparable list for rentals is three bedroom one and three bedroom one and a half bath. This neighborhood's full of three bedroom homes. So my four bedroom, one and a half bath house definitely will achieve the $800 a month rent. That's why I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is, partner with you in this way, and I pay your rent the day you buy this house for a full year. All righty. Then your scope of work. This is important because you want to know at the very bottom, age of air conditioning unit, new. Age of roof, new. Age of furnace, new. Water heater, new. Bedroom, bathroom count, square footage. Some basic information there, but then it goes line by line and tells you all the work that we've done to this house. And it really adds a lot of value to see that we purchased this house, we did a huge renovation, attracts that better tenant, multiple uh, possible tenants to choose from. So we listed this house for rent yesterday and we've had five people reach out saying, I wanna rent this. We had one person show up in our office unannounced without an appointment because the sign was in the front yard before it hit the internet. She's like, I want this house. We live nearby, my mother lives in the neighborhood. She watches the kids while I go off to work. This is the perfect house for us, I want it. Fill out your application, let me get verification of employment, let me check your um, criminal and uh, rental and credit history, and we'll get you in line and see if you're the best fit for this house or not. That's when you know you're onto something, when you have multiple qualified tenants wanting to uh, rent one house. So foundation property management is running strong. We have collected as much rent on the 3rd of April as we normally do, um, which leads me to believe we're gonna have a strong, strong month for collecting rent, even with all the COVID-19 and all that talk. Memphis is working. So good or bad, there's a, you know, we could get into the debate of whether that's a good thing or bad thing, because I know this is a very serious thing sweeping the nation but you can't shut down the supply chain and that's what Memphis is. Memphis is a logistics supply chain for North America. From FedEx, the river, uh, the Mississippi River is our Western border. We have seven class one railroads that function 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We can't shut down the railroads. We can't shut down FedEx. We can't shut down the river and 18 wheelers. I don't know how many of you have been out on the streets. 18 wheelers are still running. They're running medical supplies across America. They're running food across America. All those things have to keep going. That means Memphis is still going. So for you that have already invested in Memphis, Tennessee, you should have a real comfort level there. For those of you thinking about investing in Memphis, Tennessee, know that Memphis is at work. And I'm sure that the large employers here in town are taking all the precautions to help pre prevent the spread. I know that me and my company are. And uh, we're so humbled and honored to help you invest in something in real, tangible like real estate in the hottest market in Memphis, Tennessee for cash in America for cash flow, which is Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, if you've got questions, reach out to me and my team. I'd love for you to schedule a call. I get on the phone with you one-on-one -on -one and we can talk about certain properties or any questions you have. So this property, I know it's going to go quick after this video gets out. Guaranteed rent because it's paid in your account day one when you close. Fully renovated, new everything on this property and a super cute property that's going to attract the type of tenant that will take better care of a property. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.